This is Brad with ProLite Gear, and today I want to talk to you about the new Montane Torque 40 backpack. Uh, they took all the best features from the Medusa 32 and their new Grand Tour series for backpacking and turned them into a perfect Alpine pack. This is a little bit heavier than some of their packs, but it's made for high Alpine use, so it's got a lot more durable fabrics and uh, some extra mountaineering features added in here. This pack, you can strip the frame, strip the hip belt, and it weighs 2 pounds, 32.2 .2 ounces basically, on the nose without the frame inside of it, with the hip belt. If you take off the hip belt and use the webbing belt that's provided, it gets a little bit lighter than that. As you see it here, all in, we're at 2 pounds, 14 ounces, so really not that heavy for a 40 pound pack with all of these features. Let's jump in here. So if you look at the bottom here, it's a really, really durable, very robust fabric on the bottom where the crampons would touch, or uh, sorry, crampons, ice axes, and where the crampons might be. Uh, they give you a little bit lighter weight with a little slicker hand on this lighter weight portion here, just to keep the weight down on the pack. Something that I think they've done, which is really smart, for the Alpine pack, they got rid of the water bottle pockets. You can put the bottle inside or clip on a bottle pocket to your gear scabbard. For ice axes, they got away from the bungee systems that are on a lot of the other packs. And they've got this nice little aluminum buckle here. They decide not to use plastic because if you're always torquing your ice axe in and out of here, that's one of those high wear areas. So they actually use an aluminum buckle that's bar tacked in now. You take this little loop, slide your ice axe through there, the hammer comes out underneath this strap, and you use your compression strap to tighten up your ice axes behind this little holder there. Brilliant system for Montana. Uh, the only real plastic buckles that they use are the two on the sides, the hip belt and the sternum strap. And these little guys right here. So this is the buckle system for taking on and off the hip belt. Basically you slide up this piece of nylon, push this little guy for up, and then in. Can you see that now? Is that better? Okay. So this is actually kind of difficult. So you slide this little thing up, push this back, and then it wants to spring open. And you just slide that through, do the same on the other side, and pull out the hip belt. The webbing hip belt that is actually in the lid of this pack, for this pack, has this same little setup. So to put it on, you just do the reverse of this, slide this down, and there you go. It's really, really secure, and the difficulty of actually putting this thing on, it actually hurts your fingers pushing on the little wire. It's a pretty strong tension on that little piece, so I wouldn't worry about that ever coming loose at all. Top of the pack, they do the same thing. You could run skis behind uh, the straps here. You can run you know, whatever else you need to strap to the side of the pack. They do aluminum buckle there. And instead of a buckle to open up to get to the main body of the pack, they did kind of a clip very similar to like a, what you're seeing on crash pads. Just a real nice, heavy-duty aluminum loop right there. So this can get thrown down a hundred times, land on this part of the pack, and nothing's ever going to break. <clears throat> Stiffened piece right here to sit up and over crampons should you need it. Uh, the lid is affixed. It has some stretchy stuff here that will let it rise a little tiny bit to accommodate a larger load. And you can suck it down um, to, make this, uh, to make this lid removable. All you need to do is cut this portion loose and then put on a, a different buckle here, but I like it affixed. Inside the lid, you have a bungee cord that you get to string in between these four pieces here as your crampon carrier, which will be really nice. And then inside is the webbing hip belt when you take the hip belt off this one. Montaigne does a great job of stiffening the brim on the lid, so it really makes it easy for your partner to close the zipper one-handed when you're wearing the pack. Underneath is, Mon or is Montaigne's little uh, little stow pocket underneath the lid there. Just kind of keep like documents, compass, map, things secure and safe and dry. And inside is the key holder. Over the top of this pack, they have the rope holder strap, so you can put a rope underneath the lid. Pull that up and over top, it'll add some compression to whatever load you're carrying as well. They decided to dispense 
I take with uh, <clears throat> sorry lost my place there I always say it's easy to get in and out of montane packs and this is the very best way like that I mean it's just so easy to get in and out of on this pack take out our pillows here and to strip the frame on this pack I'm going to roll this down so you can see the zipper a little bit better but right there is how you remove the frame you basically unzip this just like that pull this thing out and hey look at that it's kind of a bivy pad uh, it's not just foam they've actually applied what feels like kind of like a no seam tent mesh over the top of the foam just to add a little bit of durability they've sewn the edges to add durability in there as well and then behind that is their HDPE uh, they call it their vertical frame which is very similar to the one on the Grand Tour 55 the Grand Tour 55 you see aluminum from here down in here it's just conformed in and they I mean, you can you can pull out the stay should you want to lighten things up a little bit I don't think I ever would uh, this piece of plastic actually has a lot of rigidity you can still move the pack to twist in it when you're wearing it due to the single stay so you can still move very easy and I can see that there inside the pack there is a water bottle or water bladder sleeve right in front of the frame sheet and if you are carrying this without the frame it still has the stiffened foam that's uh, in the back panel here it actually provides a fair amount of structure uh, and there is a little strap here which holds this thing in place so it doesn't move back and forth without that here so you can either pull one or both of these out uh, if you have any questions on this pack at all uh, please send us an email at info at prolightgear.com or give us a phone call at 406-582-0508 thanks for watching